This episode is brought to you by the Public Investing app. Use my link below to get up to $70 in free stocks. Let's get it. But without further ado, this is not financial advice. I just hope you bunch of them miss, baby, because it's about to get hot in the kitchen. Now, let's talk about the first banger on the list. And the first banger on the list is Mullen, ticker symbol M-U-L-N. Now, we talked about this already on March 7th when it was $1.15. We talked about it just yesterday when it was in the $2 range. It ran up to the $4 range, and then it came back down to the $3 range again. We talked about this time and time again. I told you, this is a great swing trade. Swing trades mean investing 101. You get in low, and then you get out high. You do not want to diamond hand something like this. Now, maybe you want to invest into it long term because you've heard that the prices are gonna be expected to be 17, 12, 15, but you gotta understand, it may take time for it to get there. That doesn't mean that it will, but if you've done your own research and you feel like it is going up there, then you gotta make sure that you're taking your time with things like this. But for the meantime, you swing trade it. Let's get into it and let's see some of the facts and some of the data, because you know I brought the receipts, baby. So now, Mullen Automotive at the time of this recording is $3.17, up 9% on a day. It got as high as 40% on a day and came back down. What does that sound like? Investing 101, get in low, sell high, right? So it basically is up 92% in the last week. However, remember, it's down 75% in the last year, family. What is this telling you? This is telling you one of two things. The first thing is that, you know what? This stock has crashed so much for a reason. Could it be short sellers? Could it be that the company isn't worth what it was worth? You gotta think, okay, with this volatile and violent movement, this means that it's a great swing trade and also great on the option side. Join the options class and join the Discord so you can make some money with us on the Discord. I see you over there. Now, let's check this out. According to certain brokerages, like I said yesterday, they expect to have their earnings on March 30th and make sure you're watching the videos and hit the notification bell so you could be up on the plays on the front end rather than on the end of it after the play has run up at least once. You could catch the wave when we first get in, right? Especially if you're up on the Discord, but hit the notification bell, family. You know what time it is. Check it out. They expect to get 13 cents per share, which is crazy. It might not sound like a lot, but when you think that this is a penny stock and they expect to be profitable, or at least Wall Street expects them to be profitable, that's crazy. But let's check this out. According to the street, they said this under the radar EV maker, first of all, under the radar to who? Everybody heard about Mullen, literally, who is actively trading or actively investing. This is one of the hottest stocks on the stock market right now. You've already heard about this and you already showed. I showed the receipts of how we were talking about this on March 7th, where it's a great swing trade. Swing trade meaning you don't expect to be holding on to this basically in a year from now, two years from now unless they start to show consistent growth in terms of the company, not just the stock. It has to make sense on both ends. Now, they said this under the radar EV stock skyrocketed, and then they said that there's more to come. So you know how Wall Street is, how they always behind the eight ball, and they're always basically chasing after the plays. Sometimes the big dogs, the institutions get in first, but generally Wall Street, they always behind the eight ball where they see something running up, and then they want you to keep running it up, so then they get in, and then you keep pushing them up and then they jump out long before you do this was posted five hours ago let's go and see what they were talking about in this article they said the shares moved from about 70 cents actually about 60 cents let's be clear right the end of february to near and it came down from 13 dollars remember crazy crazy drop and it was 13 dollars in november but came down to 70 cents basically 60 cents in february now let's check this out they said that mullen is trading like a meme stock which these are like the meme stocks, they call it like the Game Stops, the AMC. This is what Wall Street tries to describe stocks as that retail investors are trading, right? They said it's trading like a meme stock, meaning it's having these volatile surges in movement. But they say, however, the stock surge does seem to be at least partially grounded in the fundamentals of the company. So they're saying after it came down from 13, that you could basically think, hmm, this company fundamentally, according to this, is worth more than that 70 cents that it was at. So then to see it run up back to like $2, $3, then it made some sense fundamentally 
for certain factors. They said that this is a, a departure from the normal meme stock trend where the company is pumping up and down and up and down, but it generally never has anything to do with the fundamentals of the company. It usually has to do with, they said, buzz, talk on social media, momentum, or even the short squeeze potential. But Mullen doesn't fit all of those categories. It's generally just a stock that got beat down because the earnings was trash last time. And then now that the earnings are expected to even be positive, and that's crazy for a penny stock to have positive earnings, it's extremely rare. It says this, they said that it's driven, some of this run is driven by the announcement that they're going to have a next gen solid state polymer battery, a next gen solid state polymer battery. So the batteries that exist right now, like in, for example, Lucid cars, Tesla cars, Ford, all of these other kind of things are, and I highlighted this in blue just for you, are those lithium ion batteries. And these are actually quite advanced in being sold to the masses in their EVs, right? But basically Mullen is saying that they have a solid state battery that's going to be able to charge faster, be lighter, hold more charge, and then on top of holding more charge, be more resistant to fire and all of these different kinds of things, and then degrade less and experience less battery degradation, right? So degradation, that's the word of the day. <laughs> degradation in the chat, family. So let's see if you can spell that. So let's see. You know I'm playing with you. You know we keep real, we keep it raw, baby. But let's keep it going. Let's look at some of the levels on Mullen. Because remember, Mullen is a great swing trade. Swing means it's going to be very volatile like a wave. You jump on low, you get out high. Jump on low, get out high. You could even ride the put back down. But remember, it's a swing trade. Maybe one day they will evolve into a great company. And then you can say, yeah, yeah, I really want to hold on to some of this. But I just want to be absolutely clear because I know it's some knuckleheads. Where my notepad at? Hold up. Bop, bop, bop. Stop diamond hand in these type of stocks now again allegedly supposedly hypothetically nobody's trying to get sued nobody's giving financial advice you do your own research now once they start to basically show that they are worth holding on to long term then we could transition from having it in our swing trade section into our long term section but they have not graduated yet into that portion but let's look at the levels so currently the floor has been about 60 cents make sure that you pay attention to the levels i give you these things basically every time i do a video this has to be one of the most important parts of the, of the whole video right so 60 cents this is the lowest level this is the floor remember how we break under the floor and if we can fall all the way into the basement this is when you riding the put straight to the promised land baby now if it broke over 280, which I talked about in yesterday's video, we knew that we was headed for a ride closer up to like, let's call it the 430s ish. And we got all the way up to 418 in the meantime today. Now, if it broke the 435 family, we would have been potentially on a technical standpoint on a breakout headed our way back up to the $6 range. But it found a double top up there. You see those two points? One, two. Again, join the technical analysis class so you can understand and pick up what we're talking about. So many people have made so much money just from educating themselves through taking the classes over on the Discord. Now, that's what I want you to see. These levels. So you can see if it breaks under certain levels, you ride puts. If it goes above them, you ride the calls. Or you could get in low and then ride the swing trade, family. But remember, people buy the rumor and sell the news like I told you in yesterday's video. So the rumor is still standing that Mullen expects to have positive earnings. That's the rumor that's helping it pump up and they have the solid state battery and all of these other kind of things that they are announcing so then you're hearing all of these great things but then once the news happens people tend to sell off they may not but they may sell off let's get to our financial fast fact of the day and it's this and this one is actually crazy it's this if you made five thousand dollars every single day from the time that christopher columbus sailed the ocean blue in 1942 then guess what you still would have less money than Jeff Bezos earns in a week. And the math says this, Jeff Bezos, he earns about $1 billion, over a $1 billion, $1.44 billion in a week. But if you were to earn $5,000 a day, basically since 1942, family, you would still have somewhere in the $900 million range. You wouldn't even be a billionaire. That's absolutely crazy that's our fast fact of the day and you know what let's get to another one i need you to keep your eye on and that's bbig which is venco ventures which has been hot today straight up popping now it's currently 16 percent up on a day it came down a little bit it's up 44 percent on a week we talked about this one in the past too but let's see what's going on with it and it's venco ventures the stock is up 
And they said, according to Investor Place, that the share price is rising and it looks to be caught in a bit of a short squeeze where the short sellers are getting getting tight over there. And then you know what? They got to buy it and they're forced to buy it and they're pushing it up in the short term, right? So now this is also what's going on. They said, and many people don't even know this about Venco Ventures, and I want to teach you something about companies every single day that you get up on here. And it's Venco Ventures. Their big claim to fame is that they have a social media platform called Lamotiv, which is similar to TikTok. Did you know that they had a social media platform similar to TikTok? I didn't know before doing the research, so you let me know in the comments. Yes, I did know, or no, I did not know. So then, it says that they're also captivating the interest of investors because they have a spin-off cryptocurrency that it's called Cryptide. So they got a similar TikTok platform and they got something called Cryptide. I want you to be on the lookout for what's going on because these things are supposed to launch all the way in the bottom early 2022, according to Investor Place. But that's what I got for you today. I want you to hit that like button, hit the subscribe, and make sure you hit the notification bell so you can be up on the plays as early as we are. I'll see you in the next one. Hit the Discord link so you can be up on the classes. But if you can't do the heat of these hot stocks, then stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in index funds. I want you to watch this video right here at this one and you know what i love y'all take care